Hey, what's up, y'all? Talking with Kirkman Steve, about your ex is lovely TTV vid. It's titled DJ Envy facing backlash for allowing his eight year old daughter to dress like Lil Kim for Halloween. Uh, Halloween was a little bit ago, but yeah, we're gonna see uh, why people are so upset. Well, obviously, they are because Lil Kim was like a sex symbol, she was very raunchy, and I don't think that's an image that an eight year old should be trying to, you know, emulate, especially if she's eight. She don't know no damn Lil Kim, like, uh. Don't think that she would have asked for this. It sounds like his doing. <laughs> Somebody grown like pushed this on her. Cause what's the last Lil Kim song? She don't know no goddamn Lil Kim. Anyway, let's see what happens. Let's watch. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good today. I hope everybody had a safe and happy Halloween. I had a good time after I got off my live. You know, the trick or treaters came back. Show. They swung back around. They came back through. And it was nice to give away candy and stuff like that. And then I just watched Final Destination 3 and crashed. Mm -hmm. So Excuse with that me. being said, uh, Mr. DJ MV from The Breakfast Club is currently trending all over social media. So I'm like, Lord, what has DJ MV done now? And what is going down is that DJ MV decided to share with his TikTok followers, Twitter followers, and Instagram followers a video of his eight-year-old child. I think she's eight or nine but she's dressed like little Kim for Halloween, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys just this snippet. I can't play the whole thing because of the music, copyright, but I want y'all to go ahead and watch this. He wrote, happy Halloween. We love at little Kim. <laughs> oh my God, are you guys taking pictures? You know, we're doing a video. She's about to do the whole video. All right, so you guys just saw the snippet of that video. I'm going to continue to allow the video to play, but the audio will be muted. And as you see, this is a young girl. She's dressed like little Kim. No. He has her in this, this, this cut out. This is worse than I thought. <laughs> I thought she was just about to be posing, you know, for a couple pictures and like, you know covered up because she's a child but you know just had the little kim you know essence and hair or whatever but no they have this little girl showing skin and and recreating the video with swimsuit with the fur jacket people don't use their brain very anymore. grown and so a lot of people are not feeling this he's currently getting drug all over social media yes, um the top comment on that video oh, says wow, why couldn't she do an age-appropriate costume not to mention, she wasn't even alive when Little Kim was rapping. So did she want this? Thank you, you, thank you. I don't you. see a seven-year-old going, Daddy, I want to be Little exactly. Kim. Exactly. And that's a really good point. You know, Little Hello. Kim was way before this young girl was even Way. Back. Oh, wait. She really read the comments. This is, a, this is PDF file conditioning. Sadly, it's going to get worse with these sickos. Oh, my gosh. Yikes, Envy, this is not it. Your wife could have dressed up like Lil' Kim. Exactly, let her ass do it. And kept the kids out of it, period. The lyrics are inappropriate. Yeah, that song is not appropriate. Everything about the video is cringe. It's a terrible idea. Parents, please do better and let the little girl dress like a princess or, or the little, let's cut off, probably the little mermaid or something. What the fuck? Point. You know, Lil' Kim was goddamn before Lil this Kim. young girl was even thought of. And if she and said Icy Spicy or somebody, all right, she know, she know her. But still, no. Sit, sit the fuck down, little girl. You being uh, frozen, Princess El Elfa, or whoever the fuck, one of the Disney characters. <laughs> you being that or you being nothing and sitting in the house with no candy, all right? Shut up. This is why I don't need to parent anybody. Um, but even Icy Spicy would be a no. But Lil' Kim, that makes no sense. Y'all push this on her. She also has an older daughter, okay. I think, who's about maybe 15, 16. She still don't know. And I'm not even saying that she should have played Little Kim, but that would have made more sense. No, it wouldn't have. She don't even know. She a playing Little Kim. She don't even know. You know as opposed to the, the young child. 15, you don't know. what's interesting is if you go on Little, Little Kim Kim's page, rapping. Little Kim's own daughter. Now, mind you, Rain is Kim's daughter. And even Rain does not dress like that. Hello. Little Kim doesn't allow Rain to act overtly sexual or dress overtly sexual. Notice this dance challenge that she did with her own child. Check this out. I was about to say, oh my god. I was about to say. Check this out. <laughs> I was about to say that little Kim. <laughs> I was about to say that little Kim, you done went way too fucking far, girl. You 
a full white woman now. That's not Lil' Kim. As it went on further, <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's an actual white woman. And this might be Lil' Kim here to the left. Whew, that scared me for a second. All right, so you guys just saw that. Yeah, age appropriate. And so a lot of people are saying that this is grooming. This is not okay. Um, Sick. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. This little girl should be dressed in an age appropriate costume. That's and again, I don't want to knock other people who and how they make raise costume? their children. I mean, but this does for... not sit well with me, especially being that we. Who would make a bathing suit like this for a child? They probably didn't know. They probably it's probably a petite or really small size. And they're forcing it on this child. Because I'm like, I've never seen a child's bathing suit look like this in my life. Same age in social media. It's when too you have revealing. more and more kids coming out. She's not even And a they're talking about bro. the horrors that they went through with Disney and Nickelodeon and the industry. So this is just not a good look. And especially because it was just a few months ago that DJ Envy yeah, was basically like defending Diddy. You know, saying that there's nothing wrong with being freaky, saying that people were judging and he should have got bail. Let me go ahead and refresh your memory. Nine to twelve. But relating to the new charges, uh, we haven't seen the child. Child. I can say that it seems, it appears as though he's guilty, but I can't cast my judgment until I hear a lot more about it. But it doesn't look good for him. I will say this: Diddy's a freaky nigga. Like freaky, 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 freaky. Like freaky, freaky, freaky Friday, freaky Thursday, freaky Monday, freaky Wednesday. And, and there's nothing wrong with being a freaky There's person. nothing wrong with being a So the fact that he has a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube just means he just like to get shit popping. And there's nothing wrong. There's no, nothing illegal about that. Mm. Now, the one thing I will say that I, I, I don't like is I don't like how people, I mean, everybody's going to crack a joke. I mean, it, it is what it is. I don't like how people convict him before hearing all of the evidence, right? I didn't like the fact that they didn't give him a, a bond. And the reason is uh, he was going to put up $50 million, his house, his mom's house. The reason I feel that is, is he was giving up his passports. Did he has three kids without a mom, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Kim Porter passed away. So he has two twins that are 17 years old that don't have their dad right now, probably won't have their dad for the next two years until the trial is over. I feel like he should have got a bond and been able to fight this outside while he did. Harvey Weinstein had a bond. Bill Cosby had a bond. OJ had a bond. And people could say OJ ran. He, he took off and they chased him and he still had a bond. All right, so you guys just saw that clip. So to see DJ Envy putting his daughter in this type of situation is really weird to me. Mm -hmm. And again, I've done the little Kim challenge. If you guys remember a few years ago, I think like during You're COVID, wrong. you know, everybody was home bored doing challenges. I too did the little Kim challenge, but... I feel like I'm even more covered up than this little girl. Mm, she had are. on less clothes than I did, and I'm a grown adult. I don't think DJ Envy should have had her dressed as little Kim. Not only are the lyrics super raunchy, because I'll be undressed in a bra or see-through. I don't want to think about that with an eight-year-old child. I was trying to think of the raunchy so parts, but yeah, you jumped to it. You post things on social media. I get trying to pay homage, but there could have been some better, less risque songs that she could have paid homage to, like, you know, Put Your Lighters Up. Um, she could have did that. But I just think that this is not age appropriate at all. And I understand why people are feeling away. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some of these videos of people on TikTok talking about it, well, talking about it as well. I'll make a thank you. DJ Envy. Oh. Why is your daughter dressed as little Kim for Halloween? Ain't she under 10? Why does she have on the iconic red look from the video? What the fuck is going on with these parents these days? I just don't get it. I have no words. Because what? <laughs> Why is an eight-year-old dressed like Lil' Kim for Halloween? And I ain't talking about the surf and turf Lil' Kim on the stage. I'm talking about Junior Mafia. My bitch is nasty with that pose, Lil' Kim. DJ Envy shows off his daughter being Lil' Kim for Halloween. So you got DJ Envy showing off his daughter being Lil' Kim for Halloween. I'm like, Mo, what you on, Mo? Y'all ain't seen the whole fit in this pic, but I don't know what DJ Envy's on, man. If you don't go that way, DJ Envy, she could have been Michelle Obama, Rosa Parks. Nah, nah, nah. DJ ain't be like, nah, 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 nah. You gonna go ahead and be Lil' Kim. Listen, why is his young daughter, she gotta be about 9 or 10, playing Lil' Kim for Halloween, paying homage to Lil' Kim for Halloween? 
this is a very young girl, and this she got on a swimsuit, a fur coat, change her hair. But the song I'm she's singing make it even worse. Like you would think that his wife or someone like that would play child. that role and pay homage, but you got your young daughter. And not only that, you have the nerve to have her singing a song in these skimpy clothes, record it, and upload it for everybody to see, for every man to save, mm. to... Okay. I don't know what wrong. the hell be wrong with some people. But, yeah, DJ Envy should be getting dunked the other day because that was a mess, and that was wrong. Ugh. All right, so you guys just saw those clips, so I leave the question up to you guys. I'ma throw shade if I can't get paid. Yeah, this little girl know no damn Lil' Kim. Y'all to force this on her and y'all are sick in the head. Y'all are sad. She don't know no Lil' Kim songs, all right? Even if y'all played the song, she don't know what Lil' Kim look like. It's not like she's seeing the images on a regular basis on TV. And no, you know, y'all y'all push this on her and recorded this. And y'all think, oh yeah, Lil' Kim, this would be dope. No, y'all are weird and sick in the head. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.